Hey guys, so video on how to lower your pH. So, um, a lot of fish keepers don't like going to the pets or going to the supermarket to buy distilled water, which is like se which is exactly seven. So they use tap water, and tap water can be all different types of crazy. The hardness can be weird. The pH can be bad. So, that's bad for a lot of fish keepers who are interested in keeping South American cichlids, such as German blue rams. I have, that's my male, females in the back over there. So, for all you people wondering, how do I lower the pH? Well, there's a couple things you can do. Obviously, you can go buy like your pH test kit and your, no, your pH lower, like the pH down stuff from API. And you can add that stuff. I mean, it works pretty well. Another thing you can do though, I, I think is better, um, you can add driftwood. Now, that's why I have so much of it in here. I don't even have any plants in here. Because if you look, the driftwood is uh, has this brown color, and that stuff actually lowers the pH. So, the town I live in, Wellesley, their pH is terrible. It's around uh, 8.2, something like that. It's great for like convicts and stuff like that. But since convicts are such versatile fish, same with crebensis, they can go to any pH. So I try and keep them around 7.8, 6.4. See if my rams will start breeding. And even though I add water that's like 8.2, because of all this uh, all of this driftwood, it goes right down to 6.4 easily. So maybe once in a while I'll add a little pH up or pH down, but it's not something I need to do often. So if you're looking for a way to lower your pH, just add some driftwood in there. I'd say maybe a block like this one for every uh, maybe seven and a half gallons. Maybe like a block like this for like every 10 gallons or so. I have a lot in here, only because our water's so crappy. So I hope this video helped you and I hope your um, fish experiences go well in the future. So I guess I'll see you later. This was Leon. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, Thanks much. Bye.